There are eight forest bird species currently still in existence on Kauai. We have the Puaiohi, the Akikiki, and the Akeke, the Anianiao, the Kauai Amakihi, the Kauai Alapayo, the Iivi, and the Apapane. The Puayohi and the Akikiki number fewer than 500 individuals in the wild, and the Akeke number is fewer than 1,000 individuals. These birds occur nowhere else in the whole wide world. The birds are the cultural engine of Hawaii. They're the spiritual engine of Hawaii, and they're the environmental engine that keeps everything going here. Avian malaria and avian pox is spread by mosquitoes, which are also introduced to Kauai. These two diseases are really affecting the honey creepers in particular. They are highly susceptible to these avian diseases. The things that the birds need to do to adapt are not present in their genome, and they have to learn to cope behaviorally and through other mechanisms. Both mosquitoes and the plasmodium, which is the agent of the disease itself that lives in the blood of the birds, require warm temperatures in order to complete their life cycles. So as temperatures on the islands rise, these diseases are becoming more prevalent. We are working with partners at the U.S. Geological Survey to trial a new method of controlling mosquito larvae in the streams. We're focusing our efforts on the streams, which we think are the primary source of the mosquito larvae. So we're going along the streams, dipping into those little margins and those little puddles on the edge to see if we can find larvae. And we're gonna do this before and after the application of the bacterial larvicide to see if we are successful at reducing those larvae in those stream margins. The first thing that we have tried is a local control, which is a biopesticide called Bacillus thuringiensis israelensis, or BTI. It's a naturally occurring bacteria that kills larvae of mosquitoes and midges very specifically in streams or in water sources, and it does not affect any other native invertebrates or any vertebrate species such as birds, mammals, or even humans. So it's very safe to use. The forests of Kauai used to go almost all the way down to sea level, and we cleared them to make room for our human activities. And so that was the first impact on squishing the range of the forest birds. But then as this disease cycle has kicked in over the last few decades, we've seen an even further range contraction because the birds have moved upslope and upslope and upslope to the cooler, higher elevation plateau in the middle of Kauai, where they have had a refuge from mosquito-borne diseases. However, with climate change, it has meant that the temperatures in those refuges have increased, and those refuges are no longer refuges. The birds are no longer safe from mosquitoes and malaria. This loss of those refuges means that we have to treat mosquitoes in those high elevation areas. So we can use this in the short term to control mosquitoes locally. In the long term, however, we need to figure out how we can control mosquitoes at the landscape scale. And so to do that, we're turning to another biopesticide, another bacteria called Wolbachia. Wolbachia naturally occurs in the guts of insects throughout Hawaii. So the idea is that we will rear male mosquitoes in labs and inject them with a different strain of Wolbachia than wild females carry and release them in large numbers across the landscape so that most of the females would end up with inviable eggs and we would have suppressed the mosquito population through birth control. The goal is to help the birds not only maintain their foothold in this refuge, but begin to expand their range, see their populations grow and really recover so that we have them forever.